Hiya. Hiya. Okay, so this is section three, the final section of key area four on mutations, and we're focusing on chromosome structure mutations. Okay, so what we're talking about is things that when you look at a chromosome, you should be able to see a physical difference in. Um, so chromosome mutations are mutations that affect the structure of a chromosome. They can affect hundreds of genes and are usually very debilitating or fatal. Now, that's in the course specification, the knowledge that chromosome structure mutations are usually fatal. So that's a sentence that you want to, if you're taking notes, highlight, underline, something like that, because they expect you to know that they're usually fatal or, or extremely serious. There are four types of chromosome mutation that you are to know. Deletion, fun, because we also looked at deletion in terms of a point mutation. So we've got a different one here. It still does exactly the same thing. It still deletes stuff, just bigger stuff. Uh, duplication, inversion, and translocation. Now, a little bit of understanding of the English language will really help you with your knowledge of these mutations. They pretty much say exactly what they are. Duplication means we're going to be duplicating something. There's going to be a copy of something being added. Inversion, to invert something, means to turn it upside down. Okay, and translocation. Trans means changing, location means location. So it's something about swapping locations of genetic material. Okay, so they all give a big clue as to what they are. So we'll have a look at some examples. Okay, so the first one we'll look at is deletion. It still does what it says on the tin, although it's now on a chromosome rather than looking specifically at DNA. It does the same thing. It is when a segment of a chromosome is then deleted and it doesn't exist anymore. So in this case, uh, chromosome on the left, it goes red, orange, yellow, green. Chromosome on the right, the yellow has been deleted. So you can see not only is it much shorter, it's missing that whole segment, which could potentially contain a whole load of genes that are crucial to survival or various different things. Uh, an example of it is the Cree de Chat syndrome which is caused by deletion of part of chromosome number five. And if you look at the diagram, you'll see chromosome number five is highlighted in red. The chromosome on the right, so the pair on the, the right hand of the pair, is shorter than the one on the left. And this shows us very clearly part of it is not there, which means logically it's been deleted. Uh, people, children, or children who are born with this generally don't live more than about four or five years old. Uh, as it results in severe learning difficulties, uh, and various other medical issues that come with it and also results in the infants crying sounding very similar to de de distressed cat hence its name cry of the cat let's see if it'll play yeah it does so it, it sounds great it's a baby it's, it's just a baby that's crying but it's a bit it sounds like a distressed cat mm. I think that's enough of that now. Okay, duplication. All right, duplication causes a section of a chromosome to be added from its homologous partner. Now, you need to give that definition in the exam. This idea of homologous partner, remember that diagram showing chromosome number five in the previous slide? The idea is all the chromosomes were lined up next to each other. You get one set of DNA from your mum and you get one set of DNA from your dad. One set uh, is an entire set of instructions on how to be a human. The second set is also an entire set of instructions on how to be a human. So what a duplication mutation is, the two chromosomes on the right are how they're supposed to look. Sorry, yes, the left, sorry. I don't left. know my left and right. The two chromosomes on the left are how they are supposed to look. But what has happened on the right, the ver chromosome on the very right has basically duplicated, copied some DNA accidentally from its partner. OK, so it's got to be from the homologous partner. So if we give all of our chromosomes numbers because they're in pairs of the numbers one to 23, let's say this is pair number seven. The idea is that the one on the right, far right, has copied the DNA from its homologous partner, who is also chromosome number seven. Basically, what it can mean is that some DNA from your dad's set can end up in your mum's DNA chromosome or vice versa. OK. Now, duplication tends to be a bit rare. Again, what we find with chromosome mutations, they tend to kill the organism that they are in. So when we see chromosome mutations in humans, they can be severely debilitating, but other, other times they can find that it's, they're rare, that they're hard to spot. So uh, Charcot-Marie-Toothson disease is uh, type one, sorry, is caused by the duplication of an area of chromosome 17. So one chromosome has accidentally copied a section of material from the second partner chromosome. 
It affects the central nervous system, causes weakness and wasting in muscles, and also causes slow nerve conduction. When we go to unit three, we'll have a look at the, the nervous system and we'll look at this idea of the speed of nervous conduction. And um, what that will affect is the speed of response and movement. If you've got slow nerve conduction, your physical responses will be slower. Your thinking is just the same speed, but your actual physical response will be a lot slower. The next example is inversion. So in this case, a section of the chromosome has been inverted. So it's pretty much just been flipped upside down. And again, this results in the genes now being in the wrong location. So if you look at the chromosome on the left, it starts red, orange, yellow, green. Whereas if we look at the chromosome on the right, it's the reverse of that segment. So it goes green, yellow, orange, red, and then continues the same. So what's happened here is none of the genetic information has actually been altered or repeated or deleted in any way. It's simply just been flipped upside down. So all the genes are still there. They're just not quite exactly where they should be. So this one's one of the nicer ones because it's not actually affecting any of your overall genetic information, just the order of it. In terms of exam questions, they have a tendency to number the sections. So on the left, it would read numbers one to nine. I want to say so there's nine colors there maybe ten. ten and on the other one it would start with the number five and then go four three two one and then six seven eight nine ten okay so it does tend to be numbers rather than colors in exam uh, situations okay so the an example of inversion they tend not to have common known symptoms or not something that we actually know much about there's not many examples of them uh, and a lot of this is just due to the fact that there isn't any actual missing DNA or any additional DNA to make it overly stand out. Uh, the most common one is an inversion that can be seen in chromosome 9, as you can see in the diagram on the side. Uh, and it's been linked to reduce fertility in males and females, uh, and it's due to the production of abnormal chromatids in gametes. But overall, because there's no actual difference to the DNA, it's not one of the most significant ones, and there's not a whole load of examples of them. Well, as well as the issue is that we don't get genetic testing for every single thing that we go to the doctor for. They are largely guessing they're trying to treat with drugs, that sort of thing. It might be inversions are very common, but not everybody has had a DNA test to find out that they might have an inversion uh, disorder because it's not been severe enough. Translocation is the, the final one. So that's when a section of one chromosome is added or swapped with another that is not the homologous partner. OK, so we're talking about chromosome number three swapping genetic information with chromosome number 18. So that ends up in completely the wrong chromosome uh, on completely the wrong order. OK, um, so if we look at the diagram there, the two on the left, let's like, say that's chromosome number three on the far left, followed by the larger one being chromosome number 18. And then we look after the mutation, we've got the translocation mutation happening there and basically Chromosome number three is now a bit shorter and the, their information has been tacked on to chromosome number 18. OK, so this is the idea of a different one, not the homologous partner, because that would be duplication. And the idea is it's stolen basically part of the chromosome and tacked it onto a new one. OK, and um, now this one comes up quite often in multiple choice questions is they have a picture of it. I think translocation is the one that I've seen asked about most most often. Uh, for identifying for the chromosome structure mutation. Um, examples of things that can happen as a result, there are some forms of leukemia that can have been linked to translocation mutations. Um, one variety that we've seen quite a lot, I suppose, is still quite rare, is uh, translocation of parts or chromosomes of chromosomes 8 and 21. So when they swap material, we end up with non-functioning bone marrow. And bone marrow, of course, produces blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, uh, so it's essential for us to have it functioning. Um, so uh, this can be quite severe at times. Yeah. OK, to summarise the chromosome structure mutations. Um, the first one we talked about, deletion, again, does what it says in the 10. A section of the chromosome is completely deleted. It's removed and it's no longer there. OK, duplication, a section of a chromosome is repeated from its homologous partner. Okay. Inversion, a section of the chromosome is reversed, so literally flipped. And in translocation, a section of a chromosome is from a different chromosome is added. OK, so a section of chromosome from a non homologous partner is added in. And that's it in terms of mutations. Now, there's quite a lot there if we add them all up. So we've got our four chromosome mutations. 
two protein mutations plus the splice site mutations and the three point mutations that is a total of 10 different mutations that you need to be able to describe the features of pretty similar yeah identify in a diagram uh look at exam questions and be able to spot them uh if it's a sequence of bases or things like that so um it can be quite tricky the hardest thing that actually i'd say about this is is the language in the sqa mm -hmm. papers is it's not often very apparent what type of mutation they want you to go for is quite often i've been reading exam questions and it's been mainly a discussion of do you want insertion deletion or substitution or do you want the word frame shift it's quite hard sometimes to be able to tell uh, what thing they actually want you to to ask about the only thing that i can recommend there is just practice if you practice the old questions you will get used to the kind of language that they're looking for so i'd really recommend that you do this because it's a popular key area for asking about 10 whole things to know on it um, and make sure that you know flashcards be a good plan for learning the definitions of these mutations properly anything to add no that's pretty much it okay next key area is human genomics it's super short it's the shortest key area in the entire thing uh, but this marks our halfway point four key areas down four to go for unit one I and know. then two more units stop panicking them you'll make them panic